Optical Disc, Wikipedia Article Audio In computing and optical disc recording technologies, an optical disc is a flat, usually circular disc which encodes binary data in the form of pits and lands on a special material on one of its flat surfaces. The encoding material sits atop a thicker substrate which makes up the bulk of the disc and forms a dust defocusing layer. The encoding pattern follows a continuous, spiral path covering the entire disc surface and extending from the innermost track to the outermost track. The data is stored on the disk with a laser or stamping machine, and can be accessed when the data path is illuminated with a laser diode in an optical disk drive which spins the disk at speeds of about 200 to 4000 rpm or more, depending on the drive type, disk format, and the distance of the read head from the center of the disk. Most optical disks exhibit a characteristic iridescence as a result of the diffraction grating formed by its grooves. This side of the disk contains the actual data and is typically coated with a transparent material, usually lacquer. The reverse side of an optical disk usually has a printed label, sometimes made of paper but often printed or stamped onto the disk itself. Unlike the 3 half inch floppy disk, most optical disks do not have an integrated protective casing and are therefore susceptible to data transfer problems due to scratches, fingerprints, and other environmental problems. History First Generation Second Generation Third Generation Fourth Generation Overview of Optical Types Recordable and Writable Optical Discs Specifications Optical discs are usually between 7.6 and 30 cm in diameter, with 12 cm being the most common size. A typical disc is about 1.2 mm thick while the track pitch ranges from 1.6 m to 320 nm. An optical disc is designed to support one of three recording types, read-only, recordable, or re-recordable. Right once optical discs commonly have an organic dye recording layer between the substrate and the reflective layer. Rewritable discs typically contain an alloy recording layer composed of a phase change material, most often AG and SBTE, an alloy of silver, indium, antimony, and tellurium. Optical discs are most commonly used for storing music, video, or data and programs for personal computers. The Optical Storage Technology Association promotes standardized optical storage formats. Although optical discs are more durable than earlier audiovisual and data storage formats, they are susceptible to environmental and daily use damage. Libraries and archives enact optical media preservation procedures to ensure continued usability in the computer's optical disk drive or corresponding disk player. For computer data backup and physical data transfer, optical discs such as CDs and DVDs are gradually being replaced with faster, smaller solid-state devices, especially the USB flash drive. This trend is expected to continue as USB flash drives continue to increase in capacity and drop in price. Additionally, Music purchased or shared over the Internet has significantly reduced the number of audio CDs sold annually. The first recorded historical use of an optical disc was in 1884 when Alexander Graham Bell, Chichester Bell, and Charles Sumner Tainter recorded sound on a glass disc using a beam of light. An early optical disc system existed in 1935 named Lichtton Orgel. An early analog optical disc used for video recording was invented by David Paul Gregg in 1958 and patented in the U.S. in 1961 and 1969. 
This form of optical disc was a very early form of the DVD. It is of special interest that U.S. Patent 4,893,297, filed 1989, issued 1990, generated royalty income for Pioneer Corporation's DVA until 2007 then encompassing the CD, DVD, and Blu-ray systems. In the early 1960s, the Music Corporation of America bought Greg's patents and his company, Gauze Electrophysics. American inventor James T. Russell has been credited with inventing the first system to record a digital signal on an optical transparent foil which is lit from behind by a high-power halogen lamp. Russell's patent application was first filed in 1966 and he was granted a patent in 1970. Following litigation, Sony and Philips licensed Russell's patents in the 1980s. Both Greg's and Russell's disc are floppy media read in transparent mode, which impose serious drawbacks. In the Netherlands in 1969, Philips research physicist, Peter Kramer invented an optical video disc in reflective mode with a protective layer read by a focused laser beam US patent 5068846, filed 1972, issued 1991. Kramer's physical format is used in all optical discs. In 1975, Philips and MCA began to work together and in 1978, commercially much too late, they presented their long-awaited Laserdisc in Atlanta. MCA delivered the discs and Philips the players. However, the presentation was a commercial failure, and the cooperation ended. In Japan and the US, Pioneer succeeded with the Videodisc until the advent of the DVD. In 1979, Philips and Sony, in consortium, successfully developed the audio compact disc. In 1979, Exxon Star Systems in Pasadena, CA built a computer-controlled worm drive that utilized thin film coatings of tellurium and selenium on a 12-diameter glass disc. The recording system utilized blue light at 4.57 nm to record and red light at 6.32.8 nm to read. Star Systems was bought by Storage Technology Corporation in 1981 and moved to Boulder CO. Development of the worm technology was continued using 14 diameter aluminum substrates. Beta testing of the disk drives originally labeled the Laser Storage Drive 2000, was only moderately successful. Many of the discs were shipped to RCA laboratories to be used in the Library of Congress archiving efforts. The STC discs utilized a sealed cartridge with an optical window for protection U.S. Patent 4,542,495. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Optex, Inc. of Rockville, MD, built an erasable optical digital video disc system U.S. Patent 5,113,387 using electron trapping optical media U.S. Patent 5,128,849. Although this technology was written up in Video Pro magazine's December 1994 issue promising the death of the tape, it was never marketed. In the mid-1990s, a consortium of manufacturers developed the second generation of the optical disc, the DVD. Magnetic discs found limited applications in storing the data in large amount. So there was the need of finding some more data storing techniques. As a result, it was found that by using optical means large data storing devices can be made which in turn gave rise to the optical discs. The very first application of this kind was the compact disc which was used in audio systems. 
Sony and Philips developed the first generation of the CDs in the mid-1980s with the complete specifications for these devices. With the help of this kind of technology the possibility of representing the analog signal into digital signal was exploited to great level. For this purpose the 16-bit samples of the analog signal were taken at the rate of 44,100 samples per second. This sample rate was based on the Nyquist rate of 40,000 samples per second required to capture the audible frequency range to 20 kHz without aliasing, with an additional tolerance to allow the use of less than perfect analog audio pre-filters to remove any higher frequencies. The first version of the standard allowed up to 75 minutes of music which required 650 MB of storage. The DVD disc appeared after the CD-ROM had become widespread in society. The third generation optical disc was developed in 2000-2006, and was introduced as Blu-ray disc. First movies on Blu-ray discs were released in June 2006. Blu-ray eventually prevailed in a high-definition optical disc format war over a competing format, the HD DVD. A standard Blu-ray disc can hold about 25 GB of data, a DVD about 4.7 GB, and a CD about 700 MB. Initially, Optical discs were used to store broadcast quality analog video, and later digital media such as music or computer software. The Laserdisc format stored analog video signals for the distribution of home video, but commercially lost to the VHS videocassette format, due mainly to its high cost and non re recordability. Other first-generation disc formats were designed only to store digital data and were not initially capable of use as a digital video medium. Most first-generation disc devices had an infrared laser reading head. The minimum size of the laser spot is proportional to the wavelength of the laser, so wavelength is a limiting factor upon the amount of information that can be stored in a given physical area on the disc. The infrared range is beyond the long wavelength end of the visible light spectrum, so it supports less density than shorter wavelength visible light. One example of high-density data storage capacity, achieved with an infrared laser, is 700 MB of net user data for a 12 cm compact disk. Other factors that affect data storage density include the existence of multiple layers of data on the disk, the method of rotation, constant angular velocity, or zone CAV, the composition of lands and pits, and how much margin is unused is at the center and the edge of the disk. Second-generation optical disks were for storing great amounts of data, including broadcast quality digital video. Such discs usually are read with a visible light laser, the shorter wavelength and greater numerical aperture allow a narrower light beam, permitting smaller pits and lands in the disc. In the DVD format, this allows 4.7 GB storage on a standard 12 cm, single-sided, single-layer disc, alternatively, smaller media, such as the data play format can have capacity comparable to that of the larger, standard compact 12 cm disc. Third-generation optical discs are in development, meant for distributing high-definition video and support greater data storage capacities, accomplished with short-wavelength visible light lasers and greater numerical apertures. Blu-ray disc and HD DVD uses blue-violet lasers and focusing optics of greater aperture, for use with discs with smaller pits and lands, thereby greater data storage capacity per layer. In practice, the effective multimedia presentation capacity is improved with enhanced video data compression codecs such as H.264-MPEG-4AVC and VC1.
The following formats go beyond the current third generation disks and have the potential to hold more than one terabyte of data and meant for distributing Ultra HD video. There are numerous formats of optical direct to disk recording devices on the market, all of which are based on using a laser to change the reflectivity of the digital recording medium in order to duplicate the effects of the pits and lands created when a commercial optical disc is pressed. Formats such as CDR and DVDR are right once read many, while CDRW and DVDRW are rewritable more like a magnetic recording hard disk drive. Media technologies vary, M-Disc uses a different recording technique and media versus DVD-R and BDR. Compact disk and derivatives, video CD, super video CD. DVD and derivatives, DVD audio, dual disk, digital video express, DVD-RAM. Blu-ray disc, WIIU optical disc, HD DVD, CBHD, HD VMD, digital multi-layer disc, fluorescent multi-layer disc, forward versatile disc, professional disc, archival disc, holographic versatile disc, LSR, protein coated disc, Ultra HD Blu-ray. Stacked Volumetric Optical Disc